Welcome to Superintendent's Corner. I'm your host, Emily Kaleva, along with Superintendent Tim Saxton. Mr. Saxton, thank you so much for being here today. As I always am. Always proud and glad to be here. <laughs> so, we have a lot of great pictures and video to show what's been happening around the district in STEM. Um, as you know, is composed of science, technology, engineering, and math. And I'm also aware that Boardman Center Intermediate School has added a second technology lab this year. And how's that working out for you guys? Well, uh, it, it's, it's exciting. You know, I don't know if you've had a chance to see the room. Uh, obviously, Center is one of our buildings with the most tradition, but to walk into that room to see some of the newest technology, it's a nice contrast. There's uh, over a dozen new 3D printers in there. They've redone their schedule to balance the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade classes all being in that building. And one of the benefits, has been multiple benefits, but one of the benefits is uh, an emphasis on technology and STEM. Uh, Mrs. Her, uh, Hurt has done technology there for years and uh, Mrs. Ritter has been in different buildings and has such a great background in technology and robotics and putting that dynamic duo in there together, wow, it's just great for our kids. Oh, that's great. And I've also been hearing about the Little Steamers program and which starts with a group of high school students who lead STEM experiments at Center Intermediate. And can you please fill us in on what that entails? Well, again, it's nice to uh, expose our, our younger students mm -hmm. Uh, to these ideas, so it, it builds the program as they go through the district. Uh, but it, there's an added benefit. Um, you know, it's nice to learn about technology and engineering, but also mentoring. Uh, so we have uh, our high school students going down to work with our fourth graders, which is great for our high school students to learn how to interact, teach, to mentor, and it's great for our fourth graders to have such great role models, but also to have a different type of instructor, have a student instructor instead of a, a regular teacher. So they've done some pretty creative things. Uh, uh, I think they did some catapult, uh, I think they launched some Hershey Kisses. I think they're trying to launch them into their mouth. Um, they, they made some uh, musical instruments, and I believe they're making uh, little racers out of uh, peppermint candies. Uh, they go down uh, once a month, they do a project, and like I said, that again is a win-win both for those fourth graders, but also for our high school kids. Oh, of course. And I know that you recently did a presentation for the Chamber of Commerce at an event last month called Good Evening Boardman, and that you focused on career readiness in some of Boardman's new programs to focus on the overall success. And can you tell me about the details about what the success is? Sure. Uh, it's. Uh, yeah, I've had an opportunity to speak uh, at the regional chamber. They've had a good evening, Borman. They've had a good good morning, Borman. Uh, but it's an opportunity to connect with our, our, our community, especially our business leaders in Borman. So I have about 10 minutes to showcase Borman. You can give me 10 hours, and that still wouldn't be enough to cover it. But in 10 minutes, I wanted some of, the, the, of our business people to see what we're doing. So I, I felt uh, just some of the uh, job readiness focus that we have now in, in the skilled trades, which is, which is huge. Um, we've done a lot with our, the old woods class, uh, has, has reshaped itself and reinvented itself. So now it's more of a pre-apprenticeship for, for students who are actually thinking about going into carpentry. And you, our, our students will walk out of there uh, certified as a pre-apprentice. And they can actually uh, do a direct um, uh, application to the uh, carpenter unions uh, facility, training facility in Richfield. And we took a group of about, uh, I shouldn't say we, I was, uh, I was a guest. Uh, I joined uh, about 30 of our, our students in that class along with the teacher to go tour the facility. It's just impressive and uh, our, our, our kids are impressive and what they're doing in that class is impressive. So um, I, I believe the business leaders enjoyed hearing about that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. And finally, is there anything else you want to add about just events going on in Boardman? or just things going on? Absolutely, I, obviously we, we're wrapping up, or we've wrapped up our, our fall sports and winter sports is kicking off, which is always exciting. But uh, uh, another tree, we've talked a little bit about academics, a little, little splurge about athletics, but you can't forget about the arts. And uh, you know, one of the things that I think Boardman has always been known for is the outstanding performances right across the, the wall here in our Performing Arts Center. And we just had uh, Susical, the musical, which is easy for me to say, um, but what, what an impressive show. Um, quick story, so right before Thanksgiving, one of my tires was leaking some air, went over to Flynn Auto Tire, had him take a look at it, and uh, young lady was uh, my customer service rep, and when she typed my name in, she looked at me, because not too many people had a suit on, um, she said, hey, 
superintendent. I was just at Susical, and my little three-year-old still has their little who flower and listens to it every night, listens to it, see if they can hear a who, and just was so excited to be at that play, and she was so excited for her young child eventually to come up to, uh, to into the Boardman schools. But uh, I think maybe you might know a little something about the play, right? So just how was your experience? <laughs> My experience, it was it was a wonderful time, just learning from the new director, Mr. Linko, and then his whole staff. It was a great experience, and I hope that, um, you know, the boardmen, it reciprocated well with um, all the boardmen. Yeah, actually, I, like I said, I think whether you were three or you were, you were 73, I think you were impressed when you saw what happened. And, and I got to give credit to Mr. Linko. Uh, the nice thing about our programs, just like BSTN, we, we don't rebuild, we just keep reloading. You know, it's just, it, it is a long-standing tradition and our musicals are the same way. And I know we've, we've had some different, different leaders, uh, but the nice thing is uh, someone like Mr. Link, we're very blessed to have him come on board, step right in and keep that tradition and even make it better. So uh, what a good feeling. I always t tell our community, if you wanna see a professional quality show, you don't need to go very far. And I know you're probably gonna think, hey, coming into a high school, that's gonna come to Boardman High School and see one of the shows. It is high quality and you will be impressed and you will be entertained. So I'm glad to hear you're part of it and I'm so glad for the, the programs we have at the Boardman Schools. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming in and spending time with us, Mr. Saxton. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking with you and, and describing some of these programs. I just wanna wish all our viewers a happy holidays. Well, also coming up in the next few weeks on the BPAC stage, we have a lot of holiday concerts coming up in the district, and we'll be listing the times, information, and dates as well. And I'm Emily Kaleva for BSTN. Have a great December, Boardman.